Ah, uh, it's what you call an encore. <laughs> they said one more walk through Thursday. One more walk through Thursday. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. And I am Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, rest in peace. Yes. Right. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Do you know who sings that? Fresh Prince. J. Cole. And this here is Frank, whose collar is looking a little scrunch. That's okay. Pop the collar. It's oh, Thursday. oh. <laughs> okay, I'm breaking things, guys. Breaking things on a Thursday. He's looking <laughs> studious. Thursday is a studious day. You know what else is a studious day? What? I don't know. But today is the last day of June. It's okay. June 30th. It's Thursday, June 30th. The last day of June. I don't like the sounds of it. I don't like third, like, I, I like 30, the, the days with 30. I, well, that's a, those are a good dates not to like because they're pretty infrequent. Okay. Like if you didn't like the twenties, right. That would be like 10 or nine days. <laughs> yeah. You're right. No, 10 days. That'll be 10 days out of every month. You have two at most. One if you're lucky. February don't have any. Yeah. So it's not the and worst. And whoever's born today, it's not that I don't like you. I just don't like. I don't like you. <laughs> It's June thirtieth. Um, I don't June know. June thirtieth. What, what does one do on June thirtieth? Um, they say goodbye to June. I'll tell you what they do. You suck on a bomb pop. Oh, the rocket. Yeah, thing? rocket pop, bomb pop. It's uh, it's red, white, and blue. National bomb pop holiday. I guess they could also eat eat it in France, or England, or maybe Australia. Or Doesn't Ukraine. Ever, they all have red, white, and blue. No, Ukraine. Ha- bomb pop. Red, white, and blue. Australia, England, France, America. That's so overused. And people think it's like, oh, red, white, and blue. Yeah, I bleed red, white, and blue. And yeah. it's like, okay. What is that? Um, it, this was a long time ago. 2008, actually. And um, the Phillies had just won the World Series. And so, you know, like when people say they bleed their team's colors? Yeah. And so if the Eagles win, it's, I bleed green. I'm the biggest yeah. Eagles fan. So the Phillies went and it was on the news and they're interviewing people. It's like, go Phillies, I bleed red. <laughs> and it's like, so does everyone, sir. Yeah. You moron. Um, oh. Go Phillies. Go Phillies. Uh, I don't think they're playing. Are they, are they playing? They're playing. Of course. It's summer. What am I saying? July is tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm out of it. It's the summer. Where do you think you eat the bomb pops? At, At the, the baseball beach. game. I guess I could see that. Or your hot dogs, national or dog day. What is it? Dollar dog night. Okay. The Phillies has like three of them a year. Yeah. Dollar dog night. Gross. Um, they have beer nights, right? Um, I just saw. A, oh God, now I can't remember. Maybe we'll not even be able to. It was a billboard, and it said, "I think it's is it Bud Light or Miller Light?" And then it's like, extra, no carbs or something. It's like it's like it's like they've upped the light beer, and I'm thinking, what? is in it now oh like normally where a light beer is like less alcohol yeah it's saying less calories more alcohol no it didn't say anything except it was the name of the beer like say miller light and then it was like ultra is not even the right word it was like max or something it was just saying that this light beer has less cal less carbs carbs than another light beer Uh and i'm thinking what is left in it oh. that is making it beer? <laughs> and it must be a travesty to like the Germans. Yeah, those Germans get really fickle about their beer. Yeah. Or in German, beer. <laughs> <laughs> is spelled the same? No. no. B I E R. Okay. Um, um, opposed to the B E E R. Yeah. But uh, it's National Handshake Day. Do you know why people handshake? <laughs> they handshake. It's a horse trade, right? It's a. Um, I thought it was a. Uh, I thought you shook hands when you when you bought a horse from somebody and it was like it was like a signature. It was like a contract. Maybe. Sometimes they spit on their hands. You know, it's funny uh, on like the holidays thing. It says like learn about the different origins of the handshake Mm -hmm. because that very well may be one. I know another one is um, back in the day, you know, maybe like the Wild West or maybe before that. I don't know. It would you're show you're given your dominant hand like I don't have a weapon behind my back. Interesting. So like, like I like sh- those things. You're showing your palms and then you hold them and it's like, we are amongst friends. There's no knives. That's That may, that obviously came before the horse trade um, or the horse sale. Yeah, maybe we talked about horse thieves uh, last week. We did. Maybe uh, it's to show I'm not a horse thief. 
No, but that's really interesting. Nobleman. There's a lot of things like that about keeping your dominant hand free or if you show it, even if um, I told you uh, that I watched this behavioral analyst, yeah. beha- the behavior arts on YouTube. And he even talked about like, uh, if you're ta- body language, you know, and if you're talking to someone and like, you kind of lift your head. Yeah, you're, that's, you're exposing your neck. Yeah, like all these things. Yeah, the, uh, I saw on Teen Vogue for if the ladies like you. That's <laughs> that, you're lying right now. No, I'm serious. They'll put they'll put their hair or like they'll put their hair back. Oh, to expose and expose it's and you're not doing it on purpose, but it's subconsciously right. Right. showing a vulnerable part where when yeah. you're defensive, you are hiding your neck. Right. Or that's actually when you are. I'm getting excited okay. now. Okay. When you are defensive, why you cross your arms? Okay, it's because you're uh, protecting your vital organs. Okay, and so if someone's like this, it's they're defensive. Rather, if they're just right free flowing. Yeah. Those vital organs are yeah, just because there for you the see taking. Dog behavior. If, if he rolls over, submissive, and it's like and breedable. I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Animal husbandry. We did talk about that before. Yeah. Um. What else? It's uh. It was another holiday that I wanted to say. I said handshake day. National. Duh, duh, duh. Oh. It's spotted lantern fly everything. Season. I I I look a little pink. I was out in the yard and um. They're everywhere, and they're horrible. I think they're only local, though, right? I, I, they are in Pennsylvania, but I don't think they're that local. I, I think they're spreading the whole Mid Atlantic, like wildfire states on on wildfire. No, not on wildfire, but on maybe fire the spotted wood. lantern flies. Flies are the ones who brought COVID. I don't know. But I Nobody ever them. made that correlation. They're cute. They're 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 polka dots, but they're not cute. They're for people they're, who like bugs. They're invasive. There could be, no, I hate them. Okay. But I'm saying that. Uh, it's like how you say like bamboo is, oh, I like bamboo for a yard. And it's like, well, it's invasive. It's like, yeah. well, I still no, like it. I don't like them. I'm just saying that there's many. Do you play with them? <laughs> All right, anyway, I feel like they're on me. So I just want to stop talking about it. <laughs> um, It is social media day. That is what I was thinking about. Social media social that did media. not exist forever. No, it's up until recently. And now that we're on the topic. Do you guys follow at Crook and Crow on Instagram? Do they? Some of you do, not but everybody. some of you don't. <laughs> Go on in Instagram right now. Pause this video. Um, well, not until I finish the spiel. Then pause the video. Or if the video is on TV, they could just pull out their phone. Who's watching this on TV? I heard some people do. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right between between shows. We just come on. Um, no, they put YouTube on the TV. YouTube on the TV? Yeah. What kind of sorcery is that? <laughs> all right guys um yeah follow at kirk and crow on instagram you might think why so you can just see little photos of you guys oh right no no we have instagram polls every day um bible bracket polls pitting bu- pitting bible books up against each other in a warrior-esque fashion we're, we're social media savvy we're social media savvy and so um yeah post uh you can vote in the polls and say which one inspires you more that day and uh, you can join in on the fun. It's a lot of fun over there. It is. You should, you should try it. Yeah. You know, this is like sit down, listen. That right. is just interactive and right. fun. It makes you want to dance. Right. So, so, yeah. So, push all our bells. And our whistles. Blow <laughs> our whistles. Blow <laughs> our whistles and push all our bells. <laughs> all right, guys. But now that we're done talking about social media, we have to talk about something else. And that's the fact that it is Thursday and this is very crooked. The whole, it's crooked, croak and crow. Croak and crooked. Um, it is, and on Thursday, we have a little something special called Walk Through Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun, cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday, the greatest day of the week. On Walk Through Thursday, of course, you already know this, but I'm going to reiterate, we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Once the Bible's open, we pick a verse, a very special verse out of the very special Bible, and we just talk about that one verse. Mm -hmm. You know, today is not about talking about big old overarching themes or stories. It's about looking at one verse that was from the that's from the the good old book of being the Bible and getting the significance from that. We couldn't let June pass by without one more verse. One more. Yeah, it's what you call an encore. (laughs) They said one more walk the Thursday. One more walk the Thursday. All right, so without further ado, we're going to get right into it. And we are reading out of the book of Numbers. 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 Not the most boring book of the You have a Bible. problem with the numbers. Yeah. I don't. 
You don't? No. And then, funny enough, in real life, you're good with numbers, and I'm not good well, with numbers. Because it wasn't the real numbers. numbers. It's a it was book. Like it's name of a numbering every person, every Israelite. No, and... there's gems in there. Okay, well, you have to pan for gold. Yeah, I like Psalms where like it's just a. We know of you gold. like Psalms. I'll just keep. I like Psalms. It's just like yeah. Why would you want to find a needle in a haystack when you can find a stack full of needles? If you ever meet somebody and they say, "I watched Crook and Crow," or "Oh yeah, I've heard of Spencer Cartier." The test will just say, really? What's his favorite book of the Bible? That, if they don't know that, then what do you I don't? think you were actually on the zoo page of Croaks and Crows because yeah. you didn't watch this. You didn't watch this. You liars. Not them, the people that are playing them, you know. <laughs> so we are reading Numbers 23 8. Okay. Got it. Good. Um, any any pretext or are we just going to well, jump into it? It, it's about it's it does it have something to do with judging uh cursing oh i thought it had something to do with judging that's why i was doctor did you not even that's why i was uncle phil because he was a lawyer but he turned into a judge on the fresh prince he did now did you not even know what verse you picked <laughs> I, I was in the yard with the spot at lantern flies and i got a little you're playing with I, the bugs all day i got a little uh, all right, that's fine. Maybe right. I mixed up the numbers of oh, numbers and well, it's the wrong, maybe it's the wrong passage. Well, we're reading Numbers 23, 8. Uh, let's just go. Okay. How can I curse them, those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? Look at that. Numbers. So early in the Bible. Is it? Yeah. Sure. No, I think it is. I, I just don't know how to do them. In, um, Some people can rifle them off, you know? Yeah. Genesis, Exodus, Blessed Saints, Black of Lake, Circus Lake, da, 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 Genesis, numbers, Exodus, na, na, Leviticus, na, na. Deuteronomy. I don't numbers? know. I can't do it. Um, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. Yeah. So this is so early in the Bible. And before we start, I just want to say that of like people are always quick to separate New Testament and Old Testament saying, oh, Jesus said, don't judge. Something. But the, uh, the original... Uh, the old testament god he was slaying people down yes it's a very but, interesting you know god never changed it was just that jesus is the same yesterday now and forever it's this is saying who am i to judge right and I, I so i think like a lot of like what jesus did when he came into human form on earth was not so much uh ch- like change like turning 180 it was saying you guys are looking at the wrong places, right? Like, right. God has been saying this. Yeah, he but, had to, he had to like repackage. Yes. To, to yeah. hopefully get through to us. Yeah, it was like it was all right there. I told you not. I told you, judge or don't judge, lest you be judged. Right. And apparently, I have to say it in different words. Yeah. Let's apparently, try this differently. You, you have to hear it out of the uh, the horse's mouth. Is that it? It's a horse week, isn't it? I don't know. I mix up all our roots. Uh, if you bring up one of those... Snickerdoodle. <laughs> one those. of those... That one race again. <laughs> the Belmont <laughs> Stakes. All right. So, yeah. So, just... um, How can I curse them, those whom God has not cursed? Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of people, religious, secular, spiritual, um, Wiccan, a lot of people do not subscribe to this thought and they feel they're justified in cursing people now what are we going to say curses judging right yeah, maybe that's what just, i was thinking <laughs> ju- yeah judging um and I, I think more than more than that it all depends on your if you uh, your view of god and so someone with you know more of a negative mind would say oh don't worry i only curse those who god curses i only judge those who ju- god judges okay and they're not taking into account that you know god is all forgiving okay. and isn't cursing people right and so if you are walking around believing that that um god is cursing sinners or whatever you consider as a sin interesting then you can go and do it that, that's like the whole uh, yeah with, with the take the log out of your eye before you take the speck out of your brother's the people that are going against it believe that they have a speckless eye or a, a yeah a speckless yeah. eye yeah. And they're like, well, I am good. Right. And I'm so, doing everything. Because like, even in that verse, it says, and then you take your, the speck out of your brothers. Right. So it like, leaves it to, well, then again, I, I personally think it's being, um, what's it, a rhetorical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's like, you're never going right. to exactly. have a speckless eye. But 
for those who believe they have a speckless eye. And right. say, okay, well, now I can tell them. Right. Because I did what I'm told. Got the speck out first. Or got yeah. the out first. And now I'm thinking that. like, and tell me if I'm on the wrong page. Like, I'm going to perform a citizen's arrest on you because you're wearing a red shirt. You have a red shirt on. So I'm yeah. going to, I'm going to perform. It's so much redder on there, on the monitor. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> perform a citizen's arrest. I'm going to take you to the police station and I'm going to say, here you go. I got him. He had on this red shirt. Yeah. They will say, that's not, we don't. Yes. <laughs> No, no. Yeah. Um, but he's wearing a red shirt, and yeah. I'm I'm helping you. It's like good goodbye to you. I'm sorry she pulled you in here. You can stop pulling people off the street that have on red shirts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Um, you, sometimes my analogies are not anywhere near the mark. Pretty close to the mark. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um, so yeah, back to this. How can I curse those whom God has not cursed? So I think the starting point is that God is all forgiving. God okay. is all loving. Right. And so I think there's once again. I think this is a rhetorical statement once again. And it's like, who am I to curse when right. God when God is not cursing? Who am I to judge when God is not judging? Right. And so. Yeah. You know, and then you could do like, a, um, uh, what is that word? Invictus? No. The, the movie? You, yeah. Inception? Is that the one that goes it, yeah. deeper and deeper? Because then you could say, um, who I can't curse you because God didn't curse them. And then I'll say. How do I know that God doesn't curse? And then it's like, well, you're not cursed. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it, it's like, you know, you, you can't judge. And, and I think that's the other thing. Like people always or people will defend judge uh, should be judged with like, I'm not judging them. I'm correcting them because I love them. Right. And then you have to ask. Like, so this goes to whom God has not cursed. So mm -hmm. it's like. Okay, well, is that what God's doing? Is right. he judging them because he loves them? Wait, he's not. So then why are you? Oh, right. No, okay. So you can't love more than God, right? Yeah. And God's not doing it. So therefore, you using a defense of love is is not valid. Yes. Um, okay. Okay, let's just move on to the old next one. How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? Now, this is um, a little interesting for me. Okay. And here's why. Talking about denounce. What does denounce mean? I was wondering, does it <clears throat> mean like take away their, um, like, uh, what's this called? Like, ah, I can't think today. Take away from them any sort of credibility? Yeah, like invalidate them. Invalidate them. Okay. And why I like this is because people have a lot of different views and beliefs and religions on earth. And I think it's very easy for someone who you know has faith in their belief to denounce other people for whatever. You have the wrong religion. You speak the wrong language. Yeah. And I like this because whom the Lord has not denounced, we were all created by God. Right. We were all God's children. And, and so to denounce other, other people, we, we've talked about this before. Like I, I think sometimes, you know, you get caught in this, well... Christians are God's children. And then it's like, okay, well, who's the rest? Right. Like, are they are they animals without a soul? Like, right. or are they not created the same way you were created? Um, and so then if you believe that, then you have to believe that we are all brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and all God's children. And so then how, like, who, who are we, once again, to denounce people, to say, right. you, you and I are not the same. You are a different religion. You right. don't believe in religion. So you and I are not the same. And it's like, well, that's God's child, and, and, yeah. and God hasn't denounced that. That really um, reminds me of something, and it's when people say, um, you know, you'll say, let's go get these with our pitchforks and our torches. Let's go get these people because they're wearing red shirts. <laughs> you and these red shirts. Okay. I, I should change. And um, we all go and... We're gonna we're gonna um, curse you for wearing the red shirt, and we want to punish you for wearing the red shirt. Okay, so the first part of the verse says, "Don't do you know why would you do that? You're yeah. not gonna curse God, because God hasn't cursed." Then the people I find that they go like this: "Okay, you can do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting me, but I don't want anything to do with you." Yeah, that's fine. You made your choice. You can wear the yeah. red shirt. I don't think you should go to jail for wearing a red shirt, but. I don't want you in my neighborhood, house, yeah. life, circle, TV, you know, um, 
And so, you know, because curse is like so strong and so yeah. punishing. And then denounce is like, forget about them. Yeah. And so it's like, don't even do that. No. And, um, you know, uh, look at like, once again, all, you know, anytime you see a bad Christian, um, spoiler alert, it's, they're just not practicing Christianity well. And is this not like also have to do with like racism, right? right. Like denouncing an uh, entire race. And, you know, the KKK is a Christian based group. A lot of their meetings are at, you know, churches. Yeah. And how are they missing? How can I denounce those that God has not denounced? Right. And then even you get like just to go with your point of there's this subtle racism. Right. Of like where it's not like. Yeah. Like I want the schools integrated. But I'm not going to move into that school I'm, I'm district. Not gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm. You know. Well, I just you know I want to keep my my town the same. Right. I don't want to and and yeah, it's it's just always that. Who am I to denounce? Like who's yeah. God denouncing? How how can you practice Christianity and de- and denounce or curse those that God's not? Yeah, it's interesting too that is put in that order. The wor- the the worst one first. Yeah. Because you would think it would be like, don't denounce, don't curse. But this is like. Who am I to curse who doesn't get cursed? And then it's like, you would think that was lower. Yeah. Don't well, even denounce them. Yeah. And I, I just think about that now. I'm just f- fast forwarding through the Bible to the casting of stones. Like, look at that, right? Like uh, an adulterous woman and they're going to stone her, right? Like yeah. curse her. We're going to attack you. Right. And then it, it was kind of like that, right? Like where it's like, Okay, Jesus says, well, you know, whoever uh, is free of sin casts the first stone. Right. They walk away. And it's like, and also don't even denounce her. Like, like don't now like under your breath, like, right. Okay. I'm not going to curse you, but you know, you're still an adulterer. It's, that's right. it, it, it's like the silent judging. Yeah. yeah. Cause mm-hmm. uh, that's what, like when, when you want to beat someone up and it's like, don't hit him. You still have that in your heart. Right. And it's like, I'm not going to touch him. I'm not going to touch him, but you're still mad. It's like, right. Well, don't even denounce, don't walk away and say, I'm going to avoid him. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Yeah. Um. It, it also puts me in mind of perfection um, where every, I think everybody of average intelligence was, if you say, is anyone perfect? They're going to say no. No one's perfect. Hardly any. I don't think anything's perfect. No one's met me then. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But people have ideas of I'm not perfect, but I don't do that. Yeah. You know? Instead of saying, I'm not perfect and they're not perfect. Yeah. Because then they start judging like the imperfections. Like, yeah, of course I have, imp- I have imperfections, but they're not as bad as your yeah. imperfections. Yeah. And that's... I, I think that that's true. That's lot. missing the point again. Yeah. These did fall into that of like, well, yeah, uh, I maybe I may not be perfect, but I don't do that. There's always the but. Yeah. Yeah. I may. Yeah. I may not be perfect. Yeah. It's never. But... I'm not perfect. They're not. If someone's doing something nasty, he's like, they're not good it's not i don't do good things either right we both can improve it's right well i would never do that yeah there is there's a yeah there's a judgment in that in that in that way yeah um but i'm not going to feel that i have any place of cursing or denouncing somebody because god hasn't cursed or denounced me and then i'm gonna act this try, try to act the same way try to act the same way it's all you can do is yeah it's just i think always and then that's funny because we always talk about like you know what would jesus do yeah is the most generic christian concept but i really think it's like the one thing that brings importance and then it's like when you are trying to curse someone or denounce someone you really have to ask yourself is like would jesus be doing this right would jesus be denouncing that person or throwing that stone. Or in the cursing. old days, it was what was what would Jesus do? You're always asking this question. Yeah. They had the bracelets. Da, da, da. I think it should just be Jesus wouldn't do that. <laughs> Jesus wouldn't do that. Period. Statement. Period. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, that is it. Um, good verse. You know what? Maybe I don't dislike numbers as much as I thought I did. There's good you know, stuff the, in numbers. There's good stuff. in You know what? That's the problem. You know? Because like the Old Testament, people think it's like. People are afraid of it. Uh, yeah. Very strict. And then they hide the nuggets in numbers i never would have guessed there it was there it was <laughs> right between all of the names of every israelite ever um <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow for dr seuss friday hope you um are ready for that because pff, let me tell you it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good it's also good, gonna be july yeah so it's even gonna be gooder um <laughs> until then go and handshake some people make sure they don't have weapons 
or bomb pops in their hand. Mm -hmm. Peace. <laughs>